Hi guys, welcome to another video with Melissa. Um, so, the other day, The Walking Dead had a bit of a phantom surprise when a new Walking Dead comic book dropped unexpectedly. Um, Robert Kirkman posted on Skybound saying that there was going to be a surprise for Walking Dead fans. Um, and the surprise was a digital comic, The Walking Dead The Alien, by Brian K. Vaughn and Marcos Martin. Now, as you know, Walking Dead's normally by Robert Kirkman, so this is a very unusual thing to have someone else writing The Walking Dead, because it just doesn't happen. And you're probably going, well, who's this Brian K. Vaughn? Who's this Brian K. Vaughn, guys? Seriously. Brian K. Vaughn is doing these two comics at the moment. Paper Girls and Saga. Brian K. Vaughn's awesome author. So, I knew as soon as I saw it was Brian K. Vaughn doing it, I was like really, really excited. So, this comic book is available only digitally. So, if you want a copy of it, I'm going to put the link below. But it's called Panel Syndicate that is giving away the comic book at the moment. Well, you can pay for it if you want, or you can get it for free. So, if you want a copy of it, go to their website, panelsyndicate.com and search for The Walking Dead and you will find it and you can choose to pay whatever you want for it. So if you want to pay zero for it, you can pay zero. If you want to pay $100 for it, you can do that. Um, but all the money that goes into it means they produce more comics and put more stuff up. So it's up to you guys what you want to do. So I was immediately excited about this. It's like Walking Dead the Alien. I'd only seen the title. I didn't know anything about it before that and I was like Please tell me they're not bringing aliens to The Walking Dead, because that was um that was a theory a few years back as well. Um, when they had the uh, this is got spoilers, guys, so please be aware of that for the whole Walking Dead series. Um, when they had the um, the whisperers at first, and they thought the uh, walkers were talking, they thought, oh no, it's aliens. No, it's not aliens, guys. They mean alien. They mean foreigner. They don't mean alien as spaceships and UFOs. Foreigner. So we get this uh, cover image, very interesting image, of a walker. Now, sorry if there's going to be some reflection in the camera, guys. I really can't um, stop that, unfortunately, because I can only show you on my iPad. So we've got this walker here with a long shadow at the bottom on the cobbled street, the red. We lo it looks a bit European. We're not really sure of the country. So let's just go on to the next panel. And we start off kind of similar to the original Walking Dead with someone waking up. So Rick wakes up from his from his coma and this person that's our main character wakes up to the sound of someone screaming. Oh, I'm going to drop my iPad. <laughs> someone screaming. Um, we get a little bit of foreign language here. Um, if you can read it, good for you. I can't because I'm not very good at this. Um, I figured out it probably was Spanish but didn't know. My camera's just done a weird light thing, so sorry about that. If I've gone really yellowy, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just changing the memory card, so it might be going funny, and I'm not going to record again. Um, so we've got this child trying to escape from walkers. And um, we have our main lead, the one we've just woken up to, telling him, get away from him. Now, I think this is early on in the zombie apocalypse. We don't know a lot about them. He's still saying that these people are really sick. Um, guy's got an eyeball hanging out. He's more than sick, I think. <laughs> um, but our main character hits him with a flashlight. Good use there. Um, I also like the fact he's carrying around this panda backpack. So probably not his normal backpack. Probably something he found. Um, probably didn't have much choice in the matter. Okay, so he kind of fights off the walker half-heartedly. Um, but then starts to trip over. And he's saved by someone on a moped wearing armor which I think is really, really cool. Um, and they've got this, um, I have no, I can't remember what it was called, this long weapon, this long medieval looking weapon. And they save him. Um, so, of course, they start speaking to him in Spanish again. He doesn't know anything. Um, and they also, um, there's an interesting thing there that they're saying uh, in Spain, um, they thought that um, the walker virus was brought over by foreigners, which I think is really funny. Because um, that totally would happen in Europe, and America would blame the foreigners as well. We'd all be blaming each other. We know that. Um, yeah, so she's helped him. He asked why she'd help him. And um, it, she says, you have something I need. We don't know at this point. 
Um, and we find out this character's name is Jeff, and the person that um, saved him's name is Claudia. Who knows if we'll see these characters ever in the TV show or in other parts of the comic? We'll see. So, and it's like at this point we're thinking, how is this tying to The Walking Dead? Are these just random people? Because actually I think it's really interesting. We're seeing the actual apocalypse from a different perspective other than just from Atlanta or on Fear of the Walking Dead in LA. I like that we're seeing in Europe because we've only gotten a mention up to um, this point that they were trying to fight off the zombie virus in France, but they didn't probably succeed very well. At least according to this comic they didn't because Barcelona is overrun. So, um, so yeah, so comment, uh, he's commenting about the, uh, the actual armor and um, she's saying that she grabbed it from a um, museum where she used to work, uh, try and save things. But it's a good idea to have armor, but it would be hard to walk around in. Um, she calls him a cowboy, of course, because in Spain, <laughs> all Americans probably sound like cowboys. Um, but we get this uh, quite awesome thing um, talking about that... Jeff's in um, Europe because um, he was only supposed to be there a few days, but they had this family emergency. And he starts going on about his brother in the hospital. Now, at first, we don't know who this brother's going to be. We're going to figure this out in a minute, though. He calls his brother Richie. Um, and then the air airport was on quarantine, so he couldn't get home. And once again, Claudia says that he has something she needs. Um, and she wants to get to the United States. She thinks they might be able to fight off the zombie virus a bit better. Um, and she suggests going via water. Which is like, why wouldn't you? As Fear the Walking Dead is doing it now, guys. Of course, everybody's zombie apocalypse um, plan is to get to water on a boat. Because <laughs> it's the smartest way. Um, of course, you can't like take a boat across the Atlantic very easily unless you've got a big boat. Um, so they plan to go to Ibiza um, to get a private jet um, that someone of one of her um, people from the museum, one of the do donors for the museum has. So she's got a little bit of a plan and he said he wouldn't leave without her. I love the way that Claudia is drawn here. I like her like hair hanging out of the headband. I think it's really cool. Um, and they're talking about there's hundreds of walkers out there but they're gonna wait till sunrise to go and he's warning her even with your armor it isn't gonna really work um, and she suggests taking the sewers Europe has huge sewer systems underneath it and most um, most of the European countries so yeah if you were trying to escape from walkers going in the sewers of Barcelona are probably gonna be a good idea um, and you'll be able to get through but of course there's problems with methane so you can't take a candle down there so the thing she needs his flashlight so they can see underneath in the sewers otherwise it's gonna be awfully dark um, so yeah so they she decides um she's gonna head off in the morning with or without him says make a decision then they decide to go we've got this uh, awesome picture here of um, Barcelona with zombies just walking in fountains destroyed police cars and that does look like a European one that's really well done actually Lots of pigeons. They're just getting on with it. There's uh, some pigeons that looks like being eaten, which is funny. Um, normal birds in the sky. The animals don't seem to notice there's anything that wrong. Um, so they decide to go in the sewer. They've got their flashlight so they can get around. And um, she's giving him a mace to fight off stuff, which I think is really cool. It's a cool weapon in the zombie apocalypse. It's the kind of thing you'd want. Um, unfortunately, they've got to run between the zombies to get to um, the water. There's even, oh, I love this. I didn't notice this before, but there's a bird on top of one of the walkers' heads just pecking at it. How funny is that? <laughs> one of the zombies' pants are falling down. <laughs> In the background, his bum is showing. How <laughs> cute. Um, yeah, so there's lots of stuff happening in that picture. I really like how they've done that, actually. That is really cool. So they get to about... Um, Jeff gets caught by a walker with his backpack and they steal his passport <laughs> and he's like my passport and she's like you don't need it anymore we're in a zombie apocalypse come on so they get on this boat um, unfortunately they didn't check for walkers on it and there is one a big surly sea captain um, 
that's too bad. Lots more birds in the background, so we can see birds are doing pretty well in the zombie apocalypse. They've probably got lots of dead things to peck at, so probably cool. Um, Walker goes to attack Jeff. Claudia tries to kill it, but falls overboard. Drama. <laughs> so we get this whole sequence of them being underwater, which I think is really well done. Um, with the zombie, you don't know who's going to live or die here. And fortunately, they both come out of the water. Yay! But Jeff is hurt. And I like this use of blood here, this red here, that they've done, that they've showed all the um, white panels up to this point, and they're just focusing on the red. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, so just on his blood that we got some color there. And he says... Um, it's okay. Um, he's calling them insane cannibals. Don't, we still don't have walkers or zombies at this point. So it's been the best day of my life. And she says we can stop the bleeding and he just wants to be put out of his misery, really. Um, and he asked her to promise him one thing. If you do make it to the States, get a message to my brother. His name's Richie. But I guess everybody calls him Rick. So this is Rick Grimes' brother that we were, um... Um, hinted at in episode 3 of the Walking Dead TV show. So Rick Scrimes' brother was in Barcelona, Spain at the time of the zombie apocalypse. And he says he's a police officer. Rick was shot in the line of duty, slipped into a coma, but he's going to pull through. He always does. So that's quite cool. And we get more blood here. Um, so he's definitely dying. Tell him his kid brother is very sorry, sorry he never got to pay him back all the times he stood up for me. He wanted to be the knight in shining armor one last time. That's so sad, actually. Um, and we just find Jeff drifts away. So we get this end here of Jeff drifting away and Connie asking, how am I supposed to find this guy? And Jeff doesn't answer and we just get this big pool of blood at the end. I think it's a really well done comic for just this one shot that we've got here. This kind of showing us another part of the Walking Dead universe. I'd love to see more of the actual world around The Walking Dead rather than just focusing on our Atlanta group or the um, the LA group in Fear of the Walking Dead. I actually don't think Fear of the Walking Dead is that interesting, so I'd like to see more. And we're gonna have those one shots of Negan out soon as well, which I'm so excited about. To see some of Negan's backstory, that should be awesome. But I think it's cool as well that they're giving other artists a chance to write about The Walking Dead. It's kind of like a fan pick, guys, actually. I'm sure Brian K. Vaughn doesn't feel like it's a fanfic, but it kind of is a fanfic. Um, so yeah, so you get, um, at the end you've got just talking about uh, Walking Dead and some like um, sketches here of what it would look like. And you've got the panel syndicate advertisement there. Um, sorry about my camera going so funny, guys. It's because of the other screen. It's really struggling. So, I think that was a really good comic. If I was going to rate it on a 5... Um, and this is going to go in my book challenge, actually. It has to go in my 100 book challenge. If I was going to rate it under uh, out of 5, I'd probably give it a 4. I like that the it's set in a foreign place. I like the foreign language elements of it, that you don't really know what people are saying. Um, and you're right there with the main character, Jeff, and I think that's interesting. And you just have enough hints to The Walking Dead. We're not hitting people over the head with, his Rick's brother, his Rick's brother. I think it's quite cool how they've done it, actually. Um, and just having this one shot drop out of nowhere is quite cool. It's not like they were advertising it for months and going, this comic's coming out, this comic's coming out. But I think it was cool that Kirkman just kind of went on and was like, go check this out. You can get it for free if you want it. So that was my review of The Walking Dead, The Alien, um, which you guys can go get, for, get on Pandal Syndicate for as much as you want. So go check that out. I'll put the link below so you can have a look at that. Um, Watch the next bit of my video to enter my giveaway, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Fangirling with Mel. I just wanted to let you know, I'm doing a 100 subscriber giveaway at the moment, where you can win some really cool prizes, stuff in this box, including a copy of my book. So if you'd like to win the stuff in this box, it will be sent out internationally to whoever wins. Uh, you can enter my giveaway by clicking on the link below that takes you to my giveaway video. Uh, 
If you'd like to also subscribe to me, you need to do that for the giveaway to enter, but if you'd like to subscribe and watch more videos by me, click the link below. If you'd like to join me on my social media, click the links below. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you know what to do already. I've told you. I will see you guys later. Bye!